Hey, this is Brandon with Premier Guitar. We're checking out the Seymour Duncan Foos today. Got this thing in the mail last night and I can't stop playing it. Gotta be honest, there's a lot to offer and I'm excited to fill you guys in on the details. Uh, I opened up with uh, a little drum machine help and um, what I had going on was I had the fuzz section on with the gain around 10 o'clock. Um, well, I guess let me go over what, what this thing has and then I can go into specifics. But there's a fuzz section, a filter section, a low frequency oscillator section, and then here's your envelope sensitivity control. So basically you got a fuzz, you got a tremolo, you can turn on or off right there, a filter section where you can adjust your frequency and the resonance, you know, more extreme resonance as you go to the right. Um, the switch is the resonance on or off. It can be, the frequency can be controlled by your envelope attack or your LFO section up here. You can basically use this or this section to control this. Um, hope that makes sense. Uh, there's depth, speed, wave, and shape. Uh, we know what depth and speed are. This is how intense the tremolo is going to be, how fast it's going to go. There's also tap tempo, which is awesome. Uh, waveform, you know, sine wave, you could be uh, pretty mellow. You can get all the way over to square wave on the right, get it real choppy and nice, you know, radio head trim sounds and all that good stuff. Um, the shape is basically how long the waveform is going to take to finish its course, so to speak. Um, anyways, I opened up with a fuzz with the envelope control on to get that sort of DOD old envelope filter thing going on. And uh, the LFO is all kind of set, kind of square wave, I think I, I think I just moved it. Uh, and the speed was cranked a little bit. And it just gives you that cool... It can get real hairy. I'm gonna flip it down to LFO and see what happens. Oh, and they do call this the analog fuzz synthesizer because it's a fuzz by itself. It sounds awesome. A fuzz trim, just those two things sound awesome. And then you could add in the whole synthesizer section, uh, so to speak, and make it really something special. Brian, I'm gonna stop you real quick. Yo, are yo. these effects independent of each other? I know that you said you can use the fuzz by itself, but are the other two by themselves, or is it um, just fuzz only, and then everything gets added onto that? Well, the fuzz you could you could turn the gain down and just use the level control and it doesn't have to be very fuzzy. Let me turn the trim off. You can add the LFO and filter sections just to a kind of an overdriven signal as opposed to a fuzz signal. That's a big difference. Yeah. Um, so yes and no, everything is combined. You, you can't split them up into like three separate pedals. Gotcha. But, uh, but you can dial everything in to your liking. And on that note, I'm glad you asked me that. There's a dip switches on the back. They got crazy on this one. Uh, there's an expression pedal input on the back. Basically you flip, use a pick or a screwdriver or something and flip the dip switch to control any one of these knobs with your foot. Uh, so that is super helpful. Uh, Cause if you find like a cool wah sound that you want and you don't have a wall on your board and you want to save some space, just flip the uh, frequency uh, dip switch on the back, hook up an expression pedal, and you're controlling this knob with your foot, which is the same as a wah. You know, you're just sweeping a frequency. So, um, yes and no, I guess. Uh, <laughs> a long way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the fuzz by itself, let me just try to get a, a normal fuzz sound real quick. It's really useful. I mean, you could just use this as a fuzz if you wanted to. Um, I'll do one of my favorite fuzz riffs. <laughs> I think he's got a little info filter going on on that recording. Um, so, Chris, is there something specific that you want? I know you were excited about this one. Is there something you want me to show you on this? I kind of want to see how the, the fuzz, obviously, with it kind of dialed in with a little hair and maybe with yeah. the LFO section going, because I love that. Sweet. I love All right, let me get a little fuzz. <laughs>
sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, it's like a cool peaky uh, resonance thing. Let me try to dial something a little different though with that LFO in mind. Here we go. And then after that, Brandon, I want to hear something really weird that you've come up with since you had the pedal. Oh, really weird? Yeah. All right. Try for that. I'll try that. Oh, here's, you can really hear the LFO now. I, I had that uh, the frequency switch off. That's why it was just fuzz. <laughs> uh, so you got a low pass filter switch. I forgot to show you that. Uh, and then a band pass filter switch as well um, on the filter section. Nothing. And then here's low pass filter LFO. try to bring the depth down a little bit make it not as uh, bitey <laughs> synth thing like happening you know yeah, here bloom dude that i want to do that again <laughs> that's a lot of fun oh man that might be my one of my favorite sounds i've found yet i, I haven't discovered that yet <laughs> that was cool <laughs> Huh? It's a good thing we're filming. Yeah. Come on, I'm gonna capture. I'm gonna make a song out of that. Yeah, that's a that's a trip. Um, I'm gonna try to just adjust some random stuff and see what happens. I'm gonna go from LFO back to no LFO is fun. Let's keep it there. I'm gonna go to band pass this time instead of low pass. Uh, I'm gonna keep the tremolo off. No idea what this is going to be. that synth stuff. It's got quite a range, I'll tell you. <laughs> Tone it down a little bit. It's like a dripping faucet. <laughs> <laughs> Beep, <laughs> beep, 
bring the frequency down a little bit because it was getting a little harsh up in here. It's, it's cool. I like the idea of the fuzz and the tremolo being one package because yeah. that's my favorite kind of a two pedal combination of those yeah. two together. But yeah. to have them interact like that together on one pedal is mm -hmm. pretty rad. It is, dude. I, I'm, I'm a fan of this thing so far, I gotta say. I, uh, I don't know how much it, it's not out yet. I think this is like a secret thing. Yeah. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I wonder what it's gonna retail for because there's a lot that it offers, you know, like with the dip switches and everything, usually. Pro pedals in that price point are in the you know three to five range so if they're trying to get in and and do some you know start a new thing for themselves i, I wonder I'm curious to how they're going to compete price wise but yeah. uh specific uh, questions about it, we could dig into this thing a little more otherwise I'm gonna turn the turn the drum machine back on and just jam I think maybe it might be jam time just jam time always play it safe at 120 right yeah <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 